Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Dr. Lee from Penang, Malaysia. Right now, I'm staying in uh, Luang, Johor, also in Malaysia. All right, um, this is a new lesson, lesson 110, 110 on tenses as requested by uh, subscribers that I explain again and have a lesson on it. But as you know, tenses are very, very wide. This, this uh, lesson on tenses, this lesson itself cannot be done in one go. You cannot. You probably, you know, even I combine, and you, can, you can see here, I combine. It takes, uh, even if with the combination, it takes, you know, uh, maybe five or six lessons or even more to actually complete and then uh, it becomes um, mixed tenses or it becomes uh, a variety of tenses in one lesson. It takes quite a long time. But since it's uh, requested, I do have all kinds of requests, some of which I'm unable to fulfill uh, due to time constraints and due to lots of other reasons because uh, I'm involved in teaching myself day to day, you know. I have, I have my own tuition center in um, in Kluang, Johor. And um, I'm also, you know, doing the admin, you know, the administration. I'm actually running the center and I'm, at the same time, I have classes every single day. Then in my free time, I like to, you know, to teach in my own YouTube channel where I can reach out to more people because I know that um, many people love English and they want to learn more but um, maybe they haven't you know have had the uh, opportunity to, uh, to learn from someone who can uh, who can you know who has the same uh, wavelength as them you know to have something in common because um, it takes people and people. Sometimes it's very difficult, you know. Um, sometimes you may listen to a person talking or teaching and then at the end of the lesson, you still don't get it, you know. But there are some people who uh, just need to tell you once and say, oh, it's like this, it's that simple. So, I'm trying to reach out to as many people as I can and um, I hope that, I, I really hope that you understand, really. Of course, uh, if you don't understand, you can always uh, put forward your questions in YouTube, in my channel, and not my WhatsApp. You can see here, this is my WhatsApp number. Uh, it is for um, ordering books. If you want to order my book, you go to my WhatsApp. If you have any other things you want to talk about or you want to ask, uh, please do it in the YouTube channel. Do not go to the WhatsApp there because I'm not able to reply to everyone uh, due to the number of uh, subscribers and also, you know, my own self, I do not have the time to do it. All right, uh, this lesson, I will do two. I will do two dances with you which uh, is called Future Continuous Tense and Present Perfect Continuous Tense related to the lesson before. Because the lesson before I did, I did a simple future tense. Um, actually, no, the, the previous lesson, I did future simple future tense. But uh, the, the lesson before, I couldn't do three. You know, I could only do two. That was uh, present, perfect, uh, present Continuous Tense and Past Continuous Tense. So that's why today I'm doing this uh, future continuous test and then in the past I did um, present perfect tense. So today I will just, uh, you know, uh, wrap up these uh, few tenses. Today I will do uh, present perfect continuous tense. Now when you see the word continuous, when you see the word continuous, it means going on and on and on. The action did not stop. It just go on, 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 on. That's why we use the continuous tense. And we just put ing behind the verb like going, sitting, dancing, eating, ing. To show that the action is, uh, 
happening uh, without stop. So future continuousness, as you can see the word future, that means uh, it has not happened. So you have words, uh, the time frame, the time. I told you Tensor talks about time. So the time is uh, tomorrow, next Next would be next week, next, uh, next Tuesday, next month, next year. Afterwards, you know, afterwards is actually the same as later, soon or tonight. Actually, for simple future tense, I forgot to write tonight. So actually, for simple future tense, I shall, I will, I shall go tonight. You can do that or I will go tonight. And then uh, remember, for I and we, we can use uh, we should use shall be plus ing because that will show that you are using the future continuous tense. And I, you, we, they, he, she, it, that means all. I told you already, seven pronouns all together. I, you, we, they, one family, he, she, it, another family. But for future tense, you have to remember it's very special because I and we, we use shall. But we can also use will. For the rest, you, they, he, she, it, we use will, we do not use shall. When you say shall be or will be, then you have to put ing, shall be going, shall be sitting, shall be standing. So uh, there are some examples here. I put forward uh, seven simple sentences uh, to show you the uh, usage of a future continuous tense. So, I shall be arriving. Why do I say I shall be arriving? Because it is uh, tomorrow. For I, you can use shall, you can also use will. So, I will be arriving tomorrow. The future tense. He will be arriving soon. I use the word soon. That means it has not happened. Then, when I use will be, then I need to put ing. Will be arriving. Or she will be arriving later. Later is not now. It's after this. They will be arriving tomorrow. You will be arriving afterwards. Afterwards is the same as later. And they will be arriving next week, next year, next month, next Monday, and so on. And now we go to present perfect continuous tense. Now you know that present perfect tense is has or have plus a past participle. But present perfect continuous tense means in the past it was happening, it did not stop. Okay, so because of that, we need to use been. After the word been, you put ing. Example, have been singing, have been dancing, have been studying, have been practicing and so on. So, I, you, we and they, we use have been. He, she, it, we use has been. Remember, he, she, it, you must have s. I, you, we, they, we do not put s. And after the word been, we put ing. So the examples are here. I have been studying in this school for two years. We use for a period of time. Until the time you are taking, this action is still happening. It has not stopped happening. Or we use since. Since is the same. It happened in the past and is continuing into the future. Now it is still happening. So I have been studying in this school since 2019. That means I'm still here. I'm still in this school. He has been studying in this school for two years. That means he is still studying in this school. He has been studying in this school since 2019. Same thing. The action started and is continuing into the present. Now I have put some questions here. You may want to try and check your answers with me. So maybe I'll give you a, a, a minute or two. What do you think is the answer? What do you think is the answer? Okay, so a minute or two for you to uh, run through the questions and see whether you can answer. So you can look at the first one. First of all, identify the time. So the first one, the time is tomorrow. So tomorrow goes that side. Future continuous time. For she, for she, what do you do? For she, you use will be. So she, oh, I'm sorry, the first one. Tomorrow and then we. 
You know that for I and we, we can use, we can use. We can use shall. We can also use will. Both answers are okay. And then after shall you put a b. After will you put a b. And then the visit becomes visiting. This is your answer. Second one. Four. Four. A period of time. It happened in the past and it's still do happening now. That is called the present perfect continuous tense. She. She. Has been. So answer has been. So when you use has been, you need to put ing. So work becomes working. Did you get the answer correct? What do you think is the answer for number three? Identify the time. The time is since 3 p.m. Can you see the word since? So it is present perfect continuous tense. And then they. They. So they have been. So first of all, you need to write have been. And then work becomes working from the past until now. It is still happening. Number four. He, uh, important is next. So next is here. Future continuous tense. And then he. He is will be. So first of all, you write down will be. And then pitch becomes Beijing, put ing. Number five, can you get number five? Later, later comes here. Future continuous tense. And then you look at you. You is will be. So first of all, you write will be. And then have becomes having. This is your answer. So did you get the answers correctly? Number six, we. And then look, uh, important is four. Four is here. Present perfect continuous tense, we. For we, we use have been. And then play becomes playing. This is your answer. Okay? For a few hours, that means a few hours in the past until now, it is still happening. It has not stopped. And then number seven, they are important is soon. The important word is soon and then they. So your answer will be. Will be. And then it becomes eating. Because of this word, soon. Okay, so I hope you understand. I hope you are clear. Okay? That future continuous tense means things that will happen in the future. Normally we plan already. Normally it's already fixed that you this thing will happen. So remember, I and we, we use shall be. We can also use will be. The rest, you, we, they, he, she, it, we use will be. But we cannot use shall be. After will be, after shall be, ing. And when, when, tomorrow, next week, soon, later, afterwards, or even tonight. If you are talking in the daytime and you talk about tonight, therefore, it is in the future. Okay? For present perfect continuous tense, two words you need to know. Since and for. For is a period of time. That means it happened in the past and at the time you are talking, it is still going on. Um, another one is since. It's the same thing. And remember, I, you, we, and they, we use have been, ing. And then... Uh, he, she, it, we use has been and I need you. So all in all, if you were to think of the past or if you had watched my videos in the past, I have done quite a number. Uh, simple present tense, simple past tense, simple future tense. Present continuous tense, present uh, past continuous tense, future continuous tense, present perfect continuous tense. 
And before this, I did with you. Past perfect tense, present perfect tense. So all in all, how many? Today, two. The video before this, two. And then we had three. Okay, so two, two, and three. And then previously, two. Has and have plus a past participle, present perfect tense. And um, past perfect tense. Had plus a past uh, plus a past participle so that will be how many present perfect tense past perfect tense simple present tense simple past tense simple future tense present continuous tense past continuous tense today future continuous tense present perfect continuous tense I've done nine all together okay so till we meet again in the next video I would like to say goodbye now I hope you understand really and uh, please support me. Please give me a like. Uh, please share and please subscribe. Thank you.